everybody. Welcome to Epic Empire. Thank you so much for spending Wednesday night with our amazing team. Um, if you don't see your downline coaches, send them a message right now and tell them to get their butts on the call because it's going to be an amazing call. Um, I'm super excited to be with you guys tonight. I'm even more excited because tomorrow is Thursday and you know what Thursday is? It's payday. Hey, hey, hey. Payday. No. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. <laughs> um, and we have some amazing rank advancements. I heard through the grapevine that we might have two new diamonds in Epic Empire, which is super exciting because our diamond retreat, which is our first annou announcement, is filling up. Um, we are going to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. It is basically completely paid for. The beach house, we're going to be in a beautiful beach house that sleeps 20, um, right on the ocean. It's already reserved. Um, those who hit diamond as of, I think it's tomorrow, they um, are qualified for the VIP package, which is a um, photo shoot, headshot photo shoot, and um, some Epic Empire swag, and also some cash prizes. So I'm super excited for those of you who have already qualified and will be qualifying tomorrow. There's still time though, if Diamond is your goal, which I hope it is, then you have until, I think it's July 18th, don't quote me on that on a recording, go back and look at the picture, but um, we still have time, if Diamond is your goal, to be able to be a part of our Epic Empire Diamond Retreat. We have some amazing, make sure you meet your line when you jump on. We have some amazing guests line up um, for the training during the Diamond Retreat, which I believe that Keyshawn Graves from corporate is going to fly out from Utah to train with us. Um, and then we're also playing around with Saul Tucker, Jimmy Hayes Nelson. We're not really sure who it's going to be, but um, we want to get another top coach to come out and train us one-on-one. -on -one. And then we'll have an amazing team bonding experience and be able to share with each other what's working in our businesses. And it's going to be really focused on um, shining on, which if you didn't know, we actually have a separate secret page called Shine On that is our diamond page. And if you're a diamond, you get added to this page. That's where we start talking about really the, the business building side of things rather than just the beginnings of coaching and success club. We really focus on a lot of business stuff um, in our Shine On page. So Shine On is the page you want to get on because it is where the diamonds hang out. Um, and a lot of awesome information and personal development, which is this is what we're going through right now together as a team of diamonds so that we can better lead you guys and lead ourselves and our challengers. But um, all right, so let me get into recognition for May. Whew. All right, what do we've got for May? I'm pulling up the Success Club document. If you're new to the call, and you're like, I have no idea who this girl's talking. My name is Jatana Jackson. I'm the founder of Epic Empire. And we are an amazing team of coaches who just love being coaches. We love inspiring challenges, challengers to change their life. And we love being on this call on Wednesday night to encourage one another in our businesses and in our own fitness journeys. But we have a document in Epic Empire where we keep track of our own numbers. Um, and as CEOs of your own businesses, I hope and expect to not have to have to track you down in your success club members. You put your success club members in this handy dandy document that's available in Epic Empire. So I'm going to shout out some numbers for May. We are already, what is it? It is May 11th. We're almost to the halfway point of the month. Halfway point for me and most leaders in Epic Empire is when you should be in Success Club. So get in Success Club halfway in the beginning of the month, the halfway point before the 15th, right? And then focus and love on your challengers and focus on recruiting the second half of the month. It makes life a lot less stressful. All right, so points that are on the board are Tracy Cameron at two points, Afton Rio, two points, Kelly Slaughter, one point, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Nickel at two points, Annette Wine at two points, Carla Perry at one point, Mir one point, sorry. Miriam Helton at two points, Ren Young, who is in the hospital in labor, <laughs> and we're praying that her labor will 
slow down. I think her mommy's on the line right now. Um, and she will hold on to that baby inside so that we can develop the lungs and things like that. But she's on the board at two points, 34 weeks in her pregnancy. So Ren is still rocking it. Um, Sarah McCaffa is at two points and also got promoted to team builder. So congratulations, Sarah. Lisa Crichton is at four points. Nicole Mikowski is at four points. So those, that's everybody who's on the board. You guys are super close to being in Success Club. So keep going. Make sure you have a date of when your challenge group starts and have an order by date because that is literally how I hit Success Club every single month. And it works like a charm every single month. So make sure you have a challenge group to promote so you can hit Success Club. All right. The people who are in SC5 are Ashley Haynes at five points, Tanisha McAdam at six points. That's a new name. Rebecca Thompson, six points. Lee Brown, girl, I, I haven't been seeing a lot of your name. That's awesome. Six points. Dina Bauer, our amazing, I hope I'm saying your last name right, but our amazing guest speaker tonight at eight points. And then the people who are in Success Club 10, guess, is Aaron McMillan on the call? I'm like looking around all these faces. I can't tell if she's on the call. I hope she's on the call. Well, Erin McMillan and I are in Success Club 10. She's at 11 points and I'm at 12 points. So like I said, my goal, are you there, Erin? Did you unmute your line? Somebody just jumped on the call with the unmuted line. Make sure you mute your line. Uh, my goal is always to hit Success Club by 15th of the month, like I said, so that I can focus on my challenge group, love on my challengers. Hold on. Let's make sure we meet. Nicola should be being the ninja attack on that open line. I think it's Nikki's line. I'm trying to find it. Sorry. I'm finding it. Yeah, it's Nikki. That's okay. It happens, especially when we first jump on. But my goal is to hit success club at the beginning of the month. Okay. If you are a DC, Virginia, Maryland coach, we have a team dinner happening tomorrow night um, at five o'clock at On the Border, On the Border, yeah, at, is it in Reston? I'm not sure. Go to the event, all the address information is there. And then we are doing a vital behaviors training with corporate. They flew out from Utah to come and train us in um, the Virginia area, so James, Stop. My kid's still up and I'm single mom in it for two weeks. <laughs> it's fabulous. Um, all right. So if you are going to be with us tomorrow, I'm super excited because we're doing some awesome training on vital behaviors. I'll be emceeing the event and also presenting on challenge groups, which is basically what our teams do, like how we do our things. So the rest of the network is learning how Epic Empire runs their ship and it's working and people are getting excited about learning about the challenge group sneak peek. If you're not doing challenge group sneak peeks, that's where it's at. Um, anyways, that is announcements and recognition. Tomorrow's a huge day. I um, had a huge goal that I wanted to meet by May 12th. Um, and I think it's going to happen. And if it, if I can hold on to it for six weeks, which if you guys ever hit star diamond, you'll start feeling the pressure of having to hold rank for six weeks without dropping. Then you qualify for certain bonuses and things like that. Just put it out there. Picture you're juggling 120 people at one time. That's how many people it takes to maintain a 10 star diamond, 120 coaches. And if one coach goes inactive out of the 120, you lose $12,000. <laughs> yeah, I've got my wine right here. <laughs> um, but the lovely thing about all that is I love to reinvest it into my team, which is going to make our diamond retreat the bomb. So it is like my hardcore goal to make sure I maintain this 10 star for six weeks so that I can reinvest it and pour it into you guys. Um, and obviously pay taxes, but pour in you guys for the diamond retreat and have, make it an amazing experience. So with that being said, I'm celebrating a little bit tonight because I've been able to hit 10 star qualifying as of tomorrow, which is a ginormous feat and goal for me. Um, all right. I am super excited to announce the speaker tonight. 
because she's got a different story than a lot of our other speakers. I got to find her. Where's she at? Oh, there she is, Dina. Hey, Dina. Um, thank you, Lisa. So Dina and I, I don't even, I think we met through Montclair Moms, uh, which is my neighborhood. So literally she's on this Skype call or this Zoom call right down the street. Um, and Dina was like, one of those people was like, Hey, can we meet in person? And I'm like, Oh gosh, like I'm really good at online, but in person, like, I don't like to look people in the eye. I get nervous. I don't want to meet in person. Like, can you just sign up as a coach? Like talking to me on Facebook. <laughs> um, but she made me meet her at Starbucks and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I can do this. Um, so I met her at Starbucks and she started telling me a little bit about her story, which I'm not going to like ruin her thunder of her story. And I was blown away and I was like, I've got to get this girl because she's so inspiring. Um, and she became a coach and I thought, oh, I got this girl. She's going to go diamond. Like she's amazing. She's totally going diamond like in the first couple months easily. Right. Well, I'm going to let you share with, let her share with you her journey, but Dina is a diamond coach, or is soon to be diamond coach, <laughs> got it as her goal, but she is a coach that's been with us for a while, who is completely like non-existent on the success club document for the longest time, and now she's always leading the success club document. Do you have coaches in your downline that like never hit success club, but they're just there and they want it and they're posting great? all the time and they're but they're not getting success club well they might need to be on this call because that was dina she was posting amazing she wasn't in success club and now something happened something triggered an aha moment that allowed her to take off and really grow adding coaches like crazy hitting success club 10 and above almost every single month since she had that click moment and so i'm super excited for you guys to learn here from the amazing dina who is also a PIO certified coach, correct? She's a PIO certified instructor and um, a, I like to say emerald coach, but please, the girl's going diamond very soon. So I will give you the floor, Dina, and I'm going to mute my line. Thank you. That was an awesome introduction. I appreciate it. And my last name is Boyer, by the way. You say it wrong like every single week. <laughs> I've never said anything. Boyer. So. I always say Bauer. I'm sorry. That's okay. Everybody says that. But. That's okay. People say Jatana and not Jatana. So there you go. <laughs> So I am super excited to be on this call, and I was so honored when Jatana asked me to share my story um, because I really do have such a passion for this business because of my transformation, because of my journey that I have been on for the last 15 years. My whole life has just changed, and Beachbody has given me so much um, and I just want to share it with everybody. So a little about me. I have been married for 19 years. I've been together with my husband for 23 years. We have three amazing children, 16, 6, and 4. Life is crazy busy. I mean, between the sports and the school activities, and it's just nonstop. There's not one day that there's not something going on with my family. But I don't let that define my goals. I don't let that hold me back. I don't let that be an excuse as to why I'm not going to do something because everybody is busy. So I use them as my reason for busting my ass and doing everything that I need to do. Um, I was at a stage in my life where I hated exercise. I was so unhealthy and obese. I loathed it. I, I couldn't even get my fat ass off the couch um, to even think about exercising. I was 240 pounds and I'm only 5'1", so if you can imagine, that's a big girl. Um, I was unhealthy. I was depressed. I was, um, you know, starting to get all of the obesity-related illnesses. And we also wanted more children. I had had my first child already and I had gone through a horrible depression. I lost my dad. He was 44. He died of cancer. I took care of him. And so I just... You know, we were trying to have more children and I kept miscarrying and I decided at that moment I needed to change my life. I needed a drastic change so that I could, for one, be here for my family because the path that I was headed on, I wasn't going to be for long. 
And two, I wanted to set a good example um, of health so that they weren't going to choose the same bad habits that I had had and um, that were ruining me. So I started my, my journey and started eating healthy and walking because I couldn't. I was too big to run. Um, and then I started doing like some Billy Blinks Tybo. And then I got my first Beachbody program. And I'm not going to lie, it was a bootleg copy of P90X. And then I got another bootleg copy of Insanity. And so then I started running through all of the Beachbody programs and finally bought my first one. And it was Turbo Fire and fell in love with Shalene Johnson. And um, I just had this passion for exercise now because I had been on both sides of the track. I knew what it felt like to be completely and utterly just miserable and unhealthy and huge. And I knew what it felt like to feel fantastic and sexy for the first time in my life. And so I just wanted to share that with everybody. So I became a personal trainer and I wanted to share that passion, but it was hard because as a personal trainer, you have to go out and market yourself to gyms and they want two years experience before they even give you a chance. And I just, I struggled, but I was a massage therapist for 15 years. And so I used that as my segue into personal training and, and so then I decided to become a PIO instructor. And right around that time is when I met Jatana. And when we met in person, which I was so thankful for because she was amazing and I loved her. And so I started following her and she told me about her story and what she did as a coach. And I'm like, well, damn, I'm already doing that. I do everything that she's doing now. I'm just not getting paid like she is. Um, so why not? So I went home and told my husband about it. I was super excited, signed up. And I'm like, boom, hit a brick wall. Fear set in. I'm like, holy shit, I have to put myself on Facebook. I have to put sweaty selfies. I, this is nuts. What are people going to think? So I like stood still. Like pretty much I stood still. I would stalk people on Facebook. I would like follow some of, you know, Tana's posts. I did some of the other, you know, um, um, top paying um, beach body coaches. And I would see posts that they would do. I would like them. I would copy and paste and put a picture with it. And that was me. I was that girl. And I never got any feedback because it wasn't me. It wasn't my story. It wasn't, you know, what people liked about me. When you're posting something and you're using somebody else's verbiage, your friends know that that's not you. And your friends like you for you. And they're going to want what you have to offer. And so that didn't work for me. So I decided that I just needed to get creative and I started making my own posts and I got a little bit of feedback, but I wasn't brave enough to really put myself out there. And then one day I was watching Tatana and she had this like crazy post, her hair was all a mess and she had this look of exhaustion on her face. And I was looking, I was like, what the hell does she have that I don't have? Nothing. No offense, but I have everything that you have, <laughs> but I also have fear, which she did not. She was so fearless, and I admired that, and I said, you know what? I'm going to get out of my own way, and I'm going to just put myself out there, and who in the hell cares what anybody else thinks? I'm just going to do it. I'm going all in, and if they don't like it, so be it, but one person is going to like it, and so that's what I did. That was my aha moment. I am as good as she is. I just need to get out of my own way and do it. So that's what I did. And I started posting and I started sharing my passion because it is a passion. This is my thing. You know, everybody's always searching for their purpose and they want to live a purpose driven life. Well, this is my thing. This is what I truly feel like I was meant to do because I know how hard it is. I know how much I struggled and I know how to help other people. And so I do have the passion for it. And so once I was able to share that, instead of feeling like, oh my God, I gotta go sell somebody something. Once I got that out of my mindset and just started sharing my passion for this business, that's when it started to happen for me. So when I say you have to share your passion, that means be ready when somebody comes to you and says, why are you a beach body coach? because I lost 120 pounds because I want to help inspire other people because I want other people to feel how I feel 
because I know what it feels like to be miserable and to not be able to put one foot in front of the other. I want to be the one to help someone change their life. Be ready when somebody asks you. And if somebody asks you, well, what's involved in a challenge group? What do you do with the challenge pack? You know, don't throw up on them. Ask them what they need. Find out who they are, what their passions are, and what their struggles are so that you can help them. So you can take that passion that you have and customize it to them. So you really need to just start loving on people, care about people, and be genuine, okay? When you're sharing your passion and you're being genuine, people are going to just organically come to you because they want what you have. When they see that you're living this lifestyle, they're going to want to be a part of it. Um, and so for them to see your lifestyle, you have to be consistent in your post. You have to be posting every single day um, and be passionate about your post and be purposeful about your post. You know, every single time I make a post, I throw in a little nugget about my life or about my journey, about Beachbody in some way indirectly because I don't want to throw up on people about Beachbody because that's not what I'm about. I don't want people to think, oh my gosh, here she comes. She's going to try and sell you a challenge pack. I want people to just organically come to me because I am just throwing bits and pieces of what I do out there. So they just will come to me. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't make my invites and I don't contact people and try and add, you know, friends to my network. I have to do that too, but people are more willing to be receptive to you when you're consistent and you're posting and you're passionate about what you're doing. Now, I also, I don't market to everyone. I market to people that are like me because when you are trying to attract people into your business, you want to work with people that are like you because you're going to be spending a lot of time with them. When I bring in challengers, I'm giving them 100% of myself. And so we end up spending a lot of time together. So I don't want people that are negative or people that are, you know, naysayers. I want people um, that are drawn to me to um, have similarities so that we can relate and so that I can help them. So I, I don't exclude men, but I will say that mostly it's women that are attracted to me. It's women, a lot of times it's moms that are busy and are juggling family life and work and business. And they see that I'm doing the same things. And so they're inspired by me and so that I can help them because I'm doing that. Um, so find your niche, find your target market and focus on that. When you make a post, think about, hmm, what would I get out of this post if it were me reading it? Okay. So <clears throat> if I don't get anything out of this, it's like, okay, I take a sweaty selfie. Boom. Workouts done for the day. What is that? offer somebody really nothing I'm gonna take a sweaty selfie and I'm gonna post that oh my gosh I did not want to work out today but thank God for my accountability group because they kept me on track they kept me going and so just got to give little pieces of you know information that will draw people in and make people want to stop and read that and be like oh I think I might need that I can benefit from that so in every post that you do make sure it has a purpose um, all right, and let's see. Sorry, I'm getting all crazy here. Um, all right, so when you're posting with purpose and you're being consistent, now you want to make sure that everybody is seeing your post. And so when somebody comments on your post, comment back and don't reply because we want Facebook affinity, which means your post is getting seen by people. So you could have a really awesome post and nobody comments on it. And you're like, why is nobody commenting on my post? It's not because they didn't like it, it's because maybe they didn't see it. So you've gotta get your post bumped up. And by doing, by bumping it, is if somebody comments on it, then you comment back in the comment section, not in the reply section, because it 
puts it back in the newsfeed. And every time somebody comments, comment back. And then also make sure that you're posting at the right times of day. This is one thing that I talked to Jatana about because I had this awesome post and I didn't post it at the right time and it totally sucked because nobody commented on it and I wanted to bump it, but I didn't want to bump it if nobody commented on it. So I'm like, hey mom, go bump, go comment on my post so I could comment on it again so I can bump it back up. And then once I did that, it went through again and then I did get more people that viewed it. So make sure that your, your posts are getting seen. All right, now, once you're consistent and you're posting and you're being genuine and you're not being salesy at all, um, you want to start showing people some love. You really wanna just, don't scroll on Facebook and waste your time, okay? But check it out once in a while and see what your friends are posting or what people that are not really your friends but you've known them from years back Comment on a post. It, it, don't be fake, okay? Um, people recognize some of this being fake. But if you see something that kind of stands out to you, comment on it. I commented on something the other day that it was somebody that I hadn't seen since high school. And I got a message from her and says, thank you so much for commenting on my post, um, taking the time to comment. Um, it really meant a lot to me. And now she's following me and she's gonna be joining my challenge group. So just show people some love. Every day, show somebody some love. It will come back to you and truly just care about people because they will see that you really care and they will want to follow you and just see what you're doing. And then they'll start showing up on your Facebook and you'll start showing up more in their news feeds as well. Um, also, Smile at somebody every day. Don't walk around with your head down. When you want to add people to your group of your network, just smile at people. I mean, whether you're standing in line at Starbucks or you're at the park with your kids, you know, smile at somebody, make a new friend. And if you get to talking to somebody, be like, you know what? I really like talking to you. Do you have Facebook? And she's like, yeah, I do. Cool, let's connect. I hook them up right there, I pull my phone out, we connect on Facebook. And then boom, they're following me, they're commenting on my post, and guess what, I have a new challenger. So always put yourself out there, always just be friendly, be you, and show people that, you know, they want what you have. And if you present yourself in a way that is positive and outgoing and inspiring, people are gonna want that, they're gonna be attracted to that, and they are gonna authentically just come to you um so be ready for that okay so once you do all that that is when you're gonna have challengers so i was like totally stalking jatana's challenges for so long and i i was too afraid to even do my own challenges but once i got myself out of my comfort zone and put myself out on facebook and i had enough people to run my own challenge group I started pouring myself into my challengers, like 110% of myself, I poured into my challengers because I knew that they would love it so much that they would want to continue. They would share that with their friends. The best advertisement is word of mouth. Your friends have a good experience. They're gonna share it with their friends and their friends and their family. And it's just gonna be a compound effect. So make it great. So you make it great by, being there, being present 100%, and having your challengers turn into friends. We're all besties now, and I'm talking like seriously, they think we're besties, and that's great, I love it. And they, I mean, <laughs> they will tell me things that I would have never even imagined that they would tell me, but it's because they totally feel comfortable in my challenge, and they feel like it is a safe environment where people can just grow as a person it's not all about fitness and you know nutrition it is about growing as a person and when you can help somebody grow as a person they're going to be a coach because they they're going to just expand and they're going to come out of their box and they're going to think that wow i can be more than what i am right now in this little box of mine okay so the first thing i do with my challengers i make them do a video and it's one, 
because it brings them out of their comfort zone. And I did have several challengers, a couple that are on my call now because they're coaches that said, I can't do a video. So out of my comfort zone. I know it was out of my comfort zone too, but I promise you, if you just do it, you will feel amazing after it's done and you get feedback from it because it's always going to be positive feedback. Um, and then you thrive on that. At least I do. I always thrive on when I throw myself out there and I'm scared to death to do something and then I get amazing feedback from it. It makes me want to do more. So they do a video. One, it gets them out of their comfort zone. And two, it makes us more personable. It makes us feel like we are truly a team, even though we're not in the same room and we're not, you know, like, doing workouts together, but we are virtually. So we are a team and we become a very close knit community. Um, and that starts with just seeing each other's faces, hearing each other's voices. And um, it really makes a huge difference. So that is the first thing we do. I also make it very clear that if you're in my challenge group, you're gonna participate. If you don't, I'm gonna track you down. I'm gonna call you out on, on the group and say, where are you? I haven't seen you in two days and that will like totally get people going. So they don't want to be called out. It's embarrassing. I have one person call me like private message me like, can you please just private message me next time? Cause that was totally embarrassing. No, that is why this works is because I'm holding you accountable. You committed to being in my challenge group and participating. So that is what we do. Okay, cool. I will pay attention. I will participate. So that's what we do. Um, and then everybody does participate and, um, and it's not just crickets all the time. So their first task was the video. The second thing, day two, they have to get a personal development book. So this is huge because I'm grooming them to be a coach, first of all. So when you get a personal development book, you are required to read it 10 minutes a day throughout the entire challenge. That is a commitment I ask them to make. And it makes a huge difference because it really brings them out of their comfort zone. It helps them just to grow as a person. Um, so that has been super helpful. Um, I also, day three, we do, everybody has to post an inspirational quote. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you, I do everything I tell my challengers to do. I don't say, do what I say, not what I do. I do everything and I show up every single day, just like I ask them to do. So everybody posts a inspirational quote, um, day four, you know, okay, day four is Thirsty Thursday. So I have everybody post a picture of them drinking water, okay? Um, day five, I ask them to do a vision board because you have to visualize what you want in order to manifest it. And so again, I'm grooming them to be coaches, whether they know it or not. They, I want them to visualize, and even in their fitness and their health journeys, I want them to visualize that they can have whatever it is that they want, whether it's, you know, a hot little body, or if it's just to get stronger, or if it's actually to gain weight because they're, you know, skinny and, you know, they just want to get healthy. So, or if it's money that they want or um, spirituality, whatever it is, create it on a vision board because if you can see it and you can visualize it, then it will manifest itself. Okay, day six, random acts of kindness. I want people to pay it forward. Um, and this is another way of getting them out of their comfort zone, getting them to talk to other people, to maybe, you know, um, hold the door for somebody, even if it means you have to wait an extra 30 seconds. You know, smile at somebody. Who knows? It could, you know, start a movement where everybody is, you know, doing random acts of kindness and gets more people talking to each other, smiling at each other. Um, Day seven, this is a Sunday post. I just call to say I love you. Get people calling people. Everybody's so busy texting and you know on social media. Pick up the phone and actually call somebody. Remind somebody that you love them, you care about them. You know, it's just a little fun exercise um, that I ask them to do. Tuesdays, Transformation Tuesday. I ask them to post 10 positive changes that they've seen since starting this challenge. It doesn't have to be um, visual changes. It can be emotional changes. Several of my challenges are like, I have more confidence. 
I feel better. I have more energy. So I ask them to post that and share it with others because, you know, it really helps everyone to see what everyone else is doing and how everyone else is feeling. So, all right. So we also have another Thirsty Thursday. I ask them to um, post a Shakeology recipe. Um, then I have a day 12. Are you a Debbie Downer or a negative Nancy? So this assignment is fun because so many people go through their day and they're like beating themselves up or they're just negative. So I'm going to read it to you. So today your assignment is I want you to catch yourself every time you think or say something negative and either make a check mark on a piece of paper or on your phone. However you do it, I want you to record it every time you complain, think you can't do something, say something bad about yourself or someone else. Every little thing, make a check mark, and it will open your eyes to see if maybe it's you that needs an attitude check, okay? So the first time I did this, it was so funny because it was like, oh my God, I got to 20 checks and I had to just stop. It's like people don't realize how negative they can be, and if you can just change someone's mindset, it can really help them to expand and to be more positive and just change the energy of their whole surrounding. So, all right, um, day 13, share with the group someone who inspires you. It doesn't have to be someone famous, anyone who inspires you to do what you do, okay? Um, maybe this is your why, um, why you are in this business or why you are on this fitness journey. Day 14, count your blessings. You know, sometimes with all of the drama and craziness throughout our day, we forget to just count our blessings and be thankful. Um, 15, smile at a stranger. It could totally brighten your day. It could help you make a friend, can brighten somebody else's day. Um, it's just another way to get people um, out there talking to other people. Um, all right, 16, share music, something that pumps you up. Just a way to get people, you know, just doing something fun, sharing a little bit more about them, what kind of music they like. Um, another way to keep people connected. Um, day 17, share two things that you've learned from reading your personal development. See, it always comes back around. Everything that I do in the beginning, it's gonna come back around. So this is a great way for me to really know if they're doing what I'm asking them to do. And then this also it helps other people to learn a little bit from what other people are reading and and maybe they can inspire somebody else with a different book that, you know, they might not have thought of. Now, day 18, pick one person in the group page, maybe somebody who hasn't been posting regularly or somebody who you might feel needs a little bit of encouragement. Show them some love today. Um, day 19, post a description on your Facebook wall about our amazing challenge group and what it's done for you and tag me in it, okay? That one I love um, because it gets everyone seeing um, what they're doing and then they wanna be a part of what we're doing too. Oh, and that's another thing I forgot to mention. I always do a collage of my challengers. Um, sometimes I'll do it in the very beginning, but the last couple of times I've done it, like in my second week, I'm like, check out these amazing challengers. They are rocking my challenger. I'm so proud of them. It's just kind of a way to give them a huge shout out, get people you know, outside of our group supporting them. And it just gives me more attraction to my business and um, will bring more challengers into our group, more people that I can help. So, and day 20. So this is a 10 point assignment and I do give points for all of these assignments and then we give out prizes at the end. Day 20, I ask them to post a video. And in this video, I want them to tell me what they gained from this challenge, what were their excuses, how did they overcome them, and what was their experience in this group with these ladies and um, how I could have made it better for them. What were their results physically, emotionally, and mentally? And what would you say to someone who is not sure that they want to give this challenge a try? This is my favorite so far because all of the videos that I have gotten from my challengers are just amazing. Just 
praise of the group, praise of just like the ladies that are in it, just how encouraging and inspiring they are. Um, and when they say, what am I going to tell somebody that is like on the fence about joining the challenge group? Just do it. What do you have to lose? It is a small investment to yourself and you are worth it because what I have gained from being a part of this challenge is so much greater than I ever imagined. And that came from like majority of my challengers. So for me, that was like, oh my God, I love this. I love that I am able to give them such an incredible experience that they just want more. They want to share it with other people. So that is how I get more challengers. That is how I have gotten coaches is just making sure that I am there 100% and giving them an amazing challenge and really truly changing their life. All right, now day 21. This is when I ask them to take their measurements, take their weight, do their after pictures and post a collage of that in the group and share with us um, their transformation. Not everybody is comfortable sharing their before and after, and that's okay. They usually will send it to me in a private message if they're uncomfortable, and then I will give them a shout out and, um, and just tell them the group how amazing they looked. Um, but it's, it's awesome. And so then I will share that on my Facebook. Oh my gosh, my challenges were so amazing. We have lost 75 pounds between six girls and like so many inches. And so people are like, holy cow, that's awesome. I want in. So it's such a great way to get people attracted to you and get people following you when you just share how you're helping people because this business is about helping people. So when you can get out of your head and get out of that salesy mindset, I got to go sell a challenge pack. No, you don't. You have to go help somebody. If you can just go help somebody, your business will grow. So that's all I got. Um, oh, oh my gosh, that's all you got. <laughs> like that's all you got. <laughs> I hope you guys were paying attention because she just laid it out there on how she runs a mate. I mean, like I want to be a part of Dina's challenge group <laughs> after hearing that call. Oh my gosh, Dina, like I'm like seriously like blown away. I think you need to start leading calls more often. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, like bursting pride. Um, so I won't be like super gushy wishy, but <laughs> challenge groups are rocking. And I love because I feel like I've started to duplicate myself while it is similar to what I do. It's Dina's feel. Like I can see Dina's footprint all over her challenge groups and what she said. So I love that. Um, first of all, lift your arm up and flex, Dina. Girlfriend weighed 240 pounds and she was my height. Have you ever stood next to me? 240 pounds and she, I mean, one inch taller, but really you can't tell. She's a shorty just like me and she has lost 120 pounds. Like that is life changing and she looks phenomenal. Um, so congratulations on that. So when she comes at her inviting, she's going, I know how to change your life. Like if you want me to change your life, I'll change it. <laughs> and she doesn't think of, I want to sell you a challenge pack because I want to get two points. She's thinking, I want to change your life because I know how to do it. And if you trust me, I'm going to take you there because I've done it myself. Um, and I love that about her. Um, also, I loved what you said with um, when somebody asks you if you want to be a beach buddy coach. So many people get so weirded out. Like, okay, I want to become a beach buddy coach because you get 25% off and this and that. And it's like, no, like share your own personal experiences of why coaching has changed you. And everybody's looks different. Not everybody's a financial, not everybody's even a weight loss. Like I'm not a huge weight loss. I'm more of like, my life is exciting and fun. I'm financially free and I lost 10 pounds and I feel amazing. Like it's not 120 pound weight loss. So everybody has their own journey and story to share, share that story and share that journey about coaching. Um, and so I love that you said that. So, and Facebook friends with people everywhere. 
Um, I wrote that down because it's something I personally do when I'm at a play date or I'm at karate and I'm sitting next to some mom that's waiting and watching her kid. And I'm like, oh, hey, oh, yeah, that, oh, yeah, he's seven. He goes to Patty. Oh, you go to Henderson? Okay, cool. Awesome. Are you on Facebook? You are? Oh, we should become friends. What's your name? Right then and there. And I've gotten so many contacts because honestly, that contact that I made with that person because we had something in common is like, 99% chance they're most likely going to become my challenger because we have so much in common and that's why we connected on Facebook um, because we were doing something that was similar in life and we'll be able, she'll be able to relate to my post. Dina, I am like abundantly proud of you. You're amazing and big things are coming your way, girlfriend, for real. You're going to be running your own team call with dozens of people on it. Um, I also want to give a shout out to, let's see, let me make sure I can see. Who else on? Sarah, are you on? Sarah, Sarah is on vacation in Disney World. <laughs> and she, I think, I won't, I won't jinx you or whatever you believe in or whatever. But she's supposed to be going diamond tomorrow. <laughs> um, she's going to be a new diamond. And she's also on vacation. And while, I, I mean, she doesn't have to be on this call. I don't expect you guys to be on my call while you're on vacation with your family in Disney World. But it's something that's important to her, and um, it's going to change her life in terms of her family and financial and, um, you know, her fitness journey. So she's just pouring into it. And so, Sarah, I want to give you a shout-out just for being on the call while you're in Disney World. Like, that's insane. And congratulations I'm going diamond tomorrow. I'm super, super proud of you. Oh, don't jump off because let me take a group picture real quick, and I've got more, more shout-outs and more announcements, so don't leave. Everybody smile, so you're not the one picking your nose. One, okay, moving over to page two, because there's two pages. Two, Afton, you look really angry, smile. Okay, good. All right, so um, also we have Leanne Brown on the call and my brother Donnie Brown, and they are going diamond tomorrow and that's a huge shout out because they were my haters and now they're going diamond <laughs> so don't discount family because you know what i couldn't be more proud to have my family a part of this because i would love to make random strangers super wealthy for what i've built but i'd also love to help my family get there as well um and so it's super exciting to see leanne hit diamond as of tomorrow um so those are our diamond announcements and they'll be all over Facebook. So make sure you give them huge shout outs when you see it on Facebook, but also she might not want to unmute her line. Do you guys know I have an upline coach? I have an upline coach and she's on the call. <laughs> um, we have not, she, she's got to do her own thing and runs her own team, but I invite her on the call and I see her. Her name's Lori Randall. And she was the girl that I found on the message board. And I emailed her saying, I suck at insanity, help me. And she put me in her challenge group. And she showed me what a challenge group is supposed to feel like. And I fell in love with the journey. I decided to become a coach. And now I'm a six-figure earner and all you guys are here because she loved on me. So I wanted to introduce to you Lori Randall, who is my upline coach. And I'll let you talk for a minute if you want to say hey, introduce yourself. Oh. Yeah, well, hi guys, it's Lori, um, mom of four, and I started running challenge groups before I even became a coach, and Tana came to me, and you messaged me on the message boards, um, and then we, fr so I don't even remember how we transitioned to Facebook, but I said, hey, I'm on Facebook. I remember you wrote me, and you said, hey, you said for the challenge group, I need insanity and shakeology. I got that. Can I be in a group? And I was like, sure. I don't even remember where I know you from, <laughs> and you did the whole entire group. And then when you wanted to become a coach, you messaged me and say, hey, become a coach. And you're like, but my coach isn't you. And so <laughs> I ran the whole group. You're in there. But that's the one thing that really I try and, and, and teach, preach, promote is that when somebody comes to you asking for help, like help them whether they buy from you or not. I mean, there's so many different tools and so many different things, so many different groups, so many different ways you can help them whether or not they buy. And so... Um, and you never know what's going to happen if you do share yourself with that person and don't be stingy about whether or not they 
made a purchase to reach by or not. I, I really believe God puts people in our lives for a reason. And if you ignore that, there's going to be repercussions. If you bless that, then you'll be blessed for it. Yeah. And I mean, I've you definitely think- been blessed. So <laughs> <laughs> all of Epic Empire is on Lori Randall's right leg. <laughs> so she is rocking. Um, and that just goes to show you, like, I didn't buy a challenge. I don't, I might, I don't even, okay. I, I bought Asylum. So, mm-hmm. but when I originally approached her, I had already owned Insanity and I went online and bought two bags of Shakeology on my own because I read that you should do insanity and have Shakeology at the same time. And I messaged Lori Randall and said, I have insanity and Shakeology. Can I be in your group? And then I remember messaging and I remember saying, so this is the mentality that I want you guys to recognize that some challengers have. I remember talking to my friends cause I'm a Ruby and I like to talk like a Ruby. I was like, I have a coach. Like I have a coach and she's helping me in my fitness journey. And I, it was almost like telling people like I have a personal trainer. <laughs> like I felt cool saying that I had a coach, right? And then I remember my best friend Christina was like, "Can I be a part of your challenge group? Because I'm doing a CM too." And I was like, "Lori, can my friend Christina be in your challenge group?" And Lori's like, "Well, I need to talk to Christina. And have you ever like considered doing what I do? Because I don't, I don't even know how the conversation went. But I remember thinking, wait a minute, I'm starting to like send people to Lori, and." I remember watching her YouTube videos and like literally glamorized her in my mind of like, she's a coach and she's like this cool kid who takes pictures with Sean T. Um, And people, they do that for you. Like they think, and and I don't say they think because you are amazing, but they really do put you on a pedestal of leadership and uh, as being a role model. Um, And so make sure you are living that proof of the product. And, And Lori did that. She was very hardcore about the programs and her nutrition and she shared that with me and she took me in even though I never necessarily purchased anything and we didn't even realize that I was not connected to her until I enrolled as a coach and I was like wait it says who knows who that girl was who's actually my coach I don't know I think it was like Cynthia something sorry for her (laughs) feel bad for her because she's losing thousands of dollars right now (laughs) but um I signed up and I was like, I'm just going to enter in your coach ID. Cool. Became a coach. And I didn't know what this was going to turn into, but it's turned into something ginormous and huge. So when you have the person that's like, I already got the product love on them like crazy because you don't know if they're going to be the next flipping Jatana Jackson in your downline, who's building tens of hundreds of thousands of volume underneath one leg. You don't know. They might be, you know, crazy levels down as well. So you've got to love on people and not care necessarily if they purchase from you. Of course, they need to, like, Lori probably should have made sure I created a profile with her. Yeah. <laughs> but um, anyways, thank you, Lori, for jumping on. Um, well, I'll just, I'll just say to you guys, listen to what Jenna says. You know, she took off. And, you know, there are some people who are going to walk with this, some people who are going to drop off. There's some people who are going to go off with, with it like rockets. And that's what Jatana has done. And I kind of said, okay, you know what? Yeah, we kind of just were like, all right, you're good. I'm good. Okay, we're good. And so um, she knows what she's doing. So you keep watching her and doing what she says. And um, it's been exciting to watch. Um, I am. It's like omniscient, you know, I'm watching from above my online office. And so it's been amazing and a blessing and and awesome um, to, to watch you, Jatana, just grow and blossom and, and rock this. And, and I love you, girl. Awesome. Well, thank you, Lori, for jumping on. And Dina, oh my gosh, like seriously, girl, you just, I was nervous for you because I'm like, she's not a diamond yet, but I'm letting her lead a call. But I know she's got a story, so I want to share a story. But like, seriously, you just <laughs> rock that better than a lot of YouTube videos that I've seen on Facebook. So Thank you so much for sharing your heart, your story, your journey, and your amazing challenge groups. Like, I just took some notes and was like, hmm, hmm, maybe I'll add that in my challenge group. Can I get a fly on a wall in Nina's challenge group? (laughs) Um, But that is the heart and soul of our business, guys. If you are not running a challenge group, you have no motivation to hit Success Club. If you don't have something to look forward to every single month with the people that you are adding on and loving on throughout that month, then you're not going to be driven towards success club. And I think that's why Dina has been so good at hitting success club now is because she has a, a, a something 
you know what I mean, to be pushing towards. She has this awesome group that she wants to share with other people. And so when she goes to share it with other people, she has content and substance and heart to share because she's starting to see lives changed. And obviously hers has changed also. So I love you guys. Tomorrow is a huge day for Epic Empire. I'm super excited. Um, and I just hope and pray that you guys are all here a year from now. I saw a post um, Brigitte Linford, and I said this on my diamond call, I'm going to say it again on this call, but if you haven't seen Br Brigitte's post, it, it spoke volumes to me. She said that um, somebody had told her a while back that if you're in college, you're, you're all in, right? Like, you're like, I'm going to stay up all night and study for this exam because I want to get an A or a B or at least pass so that I can graduate and get my bachelor's degree or my master's degree or my PhD, whatever it is. You go all in when you go to college, right? There, you do some crazy stuff to make it happen. You sometimes pull all-nighters. My husband's a chemical engineer, and he tells me, he's like, it's one of the hard, it's harder than getting a PhD, a bachelor's in chemical engineering. He's literally in the chemistry lab for like 18 hours a day. It's insane. And he comes out, and you know how much money he makes? Like, I don't know, $50,000 right out of college? Maybe $150,000 at the max of his career? Like that is what corporate America provides and the, or government and or government. That's what corporate America provides. But you know what four years of like all in beach body can be Brigitte Lynn for making $1.9 million in four years. So MLM might seem creepy schemish to when you don't know what's going on, but thankfully what we're sharing and doing is beautiful and changing people's lives and it can be a huge financial reward for you and your family if you go all in for the same amount of time as getting a college degree. Um, and so I just love that visual concept of the, how we do when we're in college. I got my bachelor's degree and I remember the things that I would do to make sure that I succeeded in getting my bachelor's. And now it's like three years in the beach body. I'm, way further financially than I ever was after four years of a bachelor's degree. It's crazy. And I've gone all in. I spend a lot of time on Beachbody, but it is benefiting my family like crazy. So I love you guys. Have an amazing night. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Sarah. Congratulations, Rebecca, for one star qualifying. Woohoo, 10 star qualifying. I love you guys. Have a great night. Peace. Bye. Bye.